Hello teachers, here's a quick workflow video. Now we've spent all of last year really learning Schoology in District 7 and we've thrown a lot of resources in there. We probably spent a good amount of time reorganizing things uh, as we started a new school year. Uh, and then we have the active panel enter our classroom. So how can we make all that organization and resource development in Schoology work for us well on the active panel? So what I'm going to show you is how to use Google Chrome to pull up your PowerPoints. Now I've already got a course pulled up here. I tap on the PowerPoint and I get a message that says, hey, switch over to the Schoology app. Now you go to the same PowerPoint in the app, doesn't launch and you get even more frustrated. Well, I want to show you a quick Google Chrome advanced feature. Now this is a feature that will help you on Schoology, but also other websites that don't seem to want to work the way that you uh, expect them to. And that's located in the top right corner of Google Chrome under the three dots. You'll notice toward the bottom an option to request a desktop site. Now I'm going to tap that here and automatically Chrome will refresh this page with some of the more advanced features. Uh, you'll notice that the document previewer that we're used to seeing in uh, Chrome or Safari on our MacBooks is now loading the PowerPoint. Now this is not the end, right? Because this is just basically showing you that PowerPoint more or less as a PDF. So how do I get it from this preview into actual PowerPoint? So I can run it and annotate it and use all the great graphics and things that I uh, embedded in that PowerPoint. Well, I tap the download button now, uh, which will ask me whether or not I want to confirm that download first. And then I'll get a little pop-up saying that it's been successfully downloaded. I can tap open from here. And look at that. I'm launching the PowerPoint, which has been saved to my Active Connect G. I'm opening that saved version now in PowerPoint. So I can use the slideshow mode. I can use the annotation tools that are built into PowerPoint to deliver uh, this resource that originally was in Schoology. So uh, this is one of those ways that we can improve some of our workflows so that we're not constantly copying things back and forth with flash drives, etc. Again, as a quick review, you tap the three dots and request the desktop site version. Watch out for other videos uh, coming soon related to OneDrive and Schoology efficiencies that can help you using your active panel in your classroom.